my channel today I'm gonna be doing this matte glittery purple look um, this is what I'm wearing to the Houston rodeo today the weather's kind of like so annoying right now it's like raining and cold it was such a beautiful day yesterday but today it's so ugly and I want to bring you along so hopefully I have time to vlog and show you what I did but if not this is the makeup look that I created I did the purple in the bottom for Houston because if you know you know why purple is linked to Houston um, and then I did a very matte um, smoky liner look I hope that y'all enjoy this tutorial so let's get into the makeup I've never used these little palettes from Too Faced and they sent them to me a while ago. I want to do like a smoky black liner. I'm going to start with this palette and this palette it's called Light My Fire. It looks like a little matchbox. It's so cute. I'm going to mix this yellow color and this color together. I'm just going to blend that in my crease. Now I'm gonna go in with this brown right here, like concentrating it on the corner of the eye and then bringing it up. Now I'm gonna go in with the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. I love this palette. I'm gonna use this dark brown right here. Like a little precision blending brush. I'm gonna concentrate all the color in the corner. I look like I'm doing a wing with this. I'm doing this because I'm gonna do like a smoky black eyeliner and I always like to lay a dark brown before I do black. You see the eyeliner already taking a little effect. It's gonna look so good once we take the tape off. I went ahead and did a little cut crease off camera. I wasn't trying to do like a precise cut crease. That's not what I'm going for today. But I'm gonna go um, in with this color Frosty and Café de Leche. I'm gonna mix both of them together and put that all over my lid. go back to the first palette I use and I'm gonna go back in with that light brown right there and I'm gonna blend that into the crease so there's not such harsh lines okay so now we're gonna go back to the dark brown just in case we lost a little bit of pigment to it after going over with the other colors. And for this look to look like how I want it to look, it does require a lot of back and forth with colors, a lot of blending, so I'm just showing you exactly how I'm doing it. Now I'm actually going to take it all the way into the corner of my eye. Now I'm using the Too Faced Kitty Likes to Scratch palette and I'm going to use this black right here with a little angle brush. And I'm literally doing my eyeliner with the eyeshadow. You don't want to take it as high as you took that brown so it can look smoked out. No product, I'm just gonna use a little precision fluffy brush and blend that into each other. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But I went ahead and lined just my lash line with the Huda Beauty Lifeline Quick Liner. I love this liner. Now I'm gonna take off this tape and see how it looks. 
Bam. Bam. I'm gonna go and prep my face and do my foundation and I'll be back to do the rest of my makeup. Okay, I did all my creams off camera, so now I'm gonna set everything. For contour, I'm gonna use my Frankie Rose palette, like always, and I'm gonna mix all these three colors together and contour my face. For blush, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier in Peach. Jeffree Star Super Frost and Diamond Wet. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm using my Givenchy Prism. This is Violet Rose. And I like to use a brush to set my under eye. my under eye. I'm gonna start off with this purple eyeliner, BFF Cream Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the color Higgy Bank, and this is from ColourPop. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna grab a clean pencil brush, and I'm gonna blend that out. I just picked a bunch of random purple eyeshadows. I'm gonna see which one goes better with this purple. So I'm gonna use this Violet Boss Sweet Violet Fun Size Palette. I'm gonna go in with this light purple right here. I'm gonna put that right on top of that purple. Make sure that color is nice and blown out and blended out. I'm gonna bring it a little more down. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with, with this purple right here. brush I'm gonna go in with the darkest purple right here I don't think I've ever used this palette and I'm so impressed with this purples because purples are really really hard to get with eyeshadows and I want to add glitter to the bottom but I just I'm loving how this is looking just without any glitter in the bottom so I might not even do glitter maybe I can do glitter in the inner corner I don't know I don't know it's gonna be hard so now I'm gonna go and do my lashes and I'll be back to do my lips and see what I'm gonna decide about my under eyes I got this PR package from Velour lashes so let's see how they look I use the Velour plant fiber hemp lashes and this is in the style second nature and I don't want to do like such a dramatic lash because sometimes I feel like big dramatic lashes weigh your eyes down and it kind of defeats the purpose of wearing lashes so I'm really into like natural looking lashes right now which is like I feel weird even saying that because I was so into like huge lashes for a long time but anyways I am so so obsessed with these lashes also velour lashes has the best eyelash glue ever I always won't have one of these little ones in my purse so now I am going to finish my eye um, for the inner corner highlight I'm gonna use this highlight mermaids palette from line crime I honestly don't know if they still sell these because I've had this for a while but I'm gonna use this color right here it's called seashell Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter just because I wanted to add glitter somehow to this look. I'm using the Glitter Injection Tropical Smoothie. I was gonna use this other glitter all over my underline, but like I said, I really like how this purple looks, so I'm just gonna leave it alone and just add a little bit of glitter in the inner corner right here. I use the red blonde 
Color Stay Long Wear Lip Liner in Nude. I am obsessed with this lip liner. It matches everything. For my lips, I'm going to use this Too Faced lip gloss, and it's called 401k. <laughs> Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Um, I love how everything came out. Um, like I said, I'm going to the rodeo. I'm also going to add pictures of my Forever 21 haul. I went to Forever 21 to try to get a rodeo outfit and I found so many things that I like. So I'm going to add the pictures of the options that I got. I also got this hat from Forever 21. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it yet. But it matches my boots um, and it looks so cute. I'm still debating because I also, I'm not used to wearing hats. I don't know if I'm fully committed to wearing this all day. I also got these earrings from Forever 21. And I love how they have this, um, they have that nude color that I'm wearing. And then the purple in the bottom. I hope that you yeah, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. I'll be back with another video next week. Bye bye. I couldn't commit to the hat. It's too windy and it's freezing, but we made it. At least it's not raining. rodeo I had so much fun I'm probably gonna go again because today was so cold but we got in a bunch of rides well my kids got in a bunch of rides and we had so much fun and the concert was awesome it was a good time but I'm home I'm ready to go to sleep and take all this makeup off bye bye okay last thing but only one press on survived like one from this hand and three from this hand so this hand did better but not much survived it was literally just presents usually i do presents with like nail glue but i couldn't find mine so i just did the straight presents and yeah only three survived from this hand and legit the pinky from this hand but yes <laughs>